Hi there, Anderson, AC, and all the rest of you good people out there. I hope that you are all safe and sound in these uh, difficult times, and above all, that you are healthy. Regarding your question on the NX forum on um, interpart expression in an assembly part family. Now, you want the assembly to be a part family, meaning you want multiple um, copies with various uh, expressions uh, creating variants of that assembly. Now uh, you have found the core thing there with the assembly part family. Uh, if you're using int part express that that is going to be related to the um, original assembly. So all the copies and the interparts expression within uh, the uh, components of those are going to point to the original assembly. Now, uh, a simple answer to that would be to use clone assembly. Might not be the answer you want, but uh, clone assembly will do exactly what you want. Because um, it will clone the assembly and all those components will be pointing to the um, to the new assembly, meaning the expressions will be controlled from that assembly. Now, what I think you are after is deformable part, and uh, so I created an example just to kind of demonstrate and and show what deformable parts uh, does. Uh, the two disks you see on the screen here are two components, component 400 and 500. And they have been individually at the part level uh, been defined as deformable parts, where I uh, decide what values uh, or expressions I want to be able to control from the assembly level. Uh, in doing so, I can now do a save as to this uh, assembly and uh, the deformable stuff here uh, will be pointing to that new assembly. Uh, either you create a, a new version of, of the components or keep them as is, uh, you will be able to deform them uh, in, in the way you want. So, uh, just to demonstrate the behavior, as I assume you want to control this from a spreadsheet, uh, you can control them directly from, uh, from the assembly navigator here. If I re click right hand click on this and choose the form, you can edit the values that has been defined in that deformable part that you allow for to change from this assembly level. Or you can do it from a, a spreadsheet. So if I open the spreadsheet here, we will see that we have some expressions that I am able to vary. Let's see if we can make this a little bit smaller. We need the add-ins there, otherwise it will be difficult to, to demonstrate. And let's move that up to the corner up here so it will not be in the way of our um, geometry or graphical screen here. So we've got D1, obviously that is describing or deciding the size of the uh, smaller cylinder there. So let's make that 250. Uh, we got the D2 here. We now want that to be something different. Let's say that is going to be 20. And the distance in between, it's now 300. Let's make that so it's visible to 100. Confirm with enter there. Uh, so now we have set the uh, prerequisites from the spreadsheet here controlling uh, the input. We can now say update NX part. And the parts will now update accordingly uh, to, to my uh, dimensions here. Okay, so 100 maybe was not the best for the situation. Let's do it 500 just for the heck of it. Uh, we update the NX parts uh, in, in here. And we can now see that uh, the disk that was previously uh, 
10, I believe it was, is now uh, 250. And the other disk that was, I don't remember, 200, 300 something, is now 20. And the distance between them is 50. Uh, sorry, 500. Um, so that's one way of controlling these um, uh, expressions from the assembly level. Now, uh, one more thing here would be uh, that you wanted to create another version of this SC300 here. So uh, we're going to do that. We're going to do a file save as. Uh, we're going to save this as, uh, let's see here, I don't remember. Let's add, uh, no, not revision. It's going to be, well, I could add a revision, but it's going to be a completely different one, so I want a different number to it. So 444, just for the heck of it. There we go. And we say save to that. Already saved, actually, but uh, anyway. I did it twice, just to be sure. Uh, here I can control these components uh, as they are, or I can control them by uh, the deformable uh, part here. But as I set it up with expressions, I'm gonna do it through the spreadsheet, continue doing it through the spreadsheet. And uh, I'm gonna open the old one uh, as well later on. So we change the first one to, let's say, 10. And we change the second one to 50, just to have a, ch a change in between them. And let's keep this at, let's say, 250, just for the heck of it. We need the add-ins to update the NX part. And once that's done, we can see that we change those parts, say OK to that. And we're going to save these part, this part, this assembly part. Save. And I'm going to now open up the original uh, part, which was the assembly 300. So let's see if we can find that assembly 300. Didn't I have that in here somewhere? Assembly, okay, file open, assembly, assembly, assembly 300, uh, where did you go, didn't I save you, SC300, underscore 300, there we go, there it is. So we now have the previous 300, and we have the current 444. And we can see that they are different, and they are all controlled by a spreadsheet inside uh, the assembly level. Uh, now, I believe this is what you're after. Uh, so I would recommend to have a look at deformable part and I hope that clears things for you with that I'm going to leave you for tonight and I hope that uh, you all will have a good uh, day night evening morning wherever you are take care stay safe and stay healthy over and out from Fred bye for now